Uh, Richard O'Brien here, um, I'm Chagas Glambia Monitor Farm Program Coordinator. Uh, the program has been running now since 2015. And I suppose the real emphasis across this program, these were a group of farmers, 11 farmers, that were, you know, post quota, like 15 was the first year post quota. And we set up the program to support sustainable growth across these farms. Major things out of it was uh, contingency fund was greatly needed and the level of planning required. In early nitrogen, how much it has grown that extra bit of grass for the system. Improving soil fertility um, started at a very low base. Try to get that right, we're growing a lot more tons of grass per year as a consequence of that. The importance of financial discipline uh, and financial planning. We bought some land, so there is high level of borrowings on the farm. So financial planning and completing the cost control planner has been crucial. It has helped us in a year like 2016 when milk price was poor. With Shane McElroy there, the Glombia vet, we've come up with a plan and we've tackled the herd health from all um, sides, be it through vaccines, dosing, calf rearing. Um, I've seen huge increases getting better at that over the four years. The importance of, of stock, number one, and getting heifers to target weight and breeding, breeding off our heifers to, to increase the genetic uh, potential of our herd. The labour on the farm, I do 11 milkings per week and that gives me time to manage, uh, be it grass, be it figures or whatever, office work, so that takes the pressure off, I'm not doing that at night. Our infrastructure, I suppose, we've increased paddock size to allow for 36 hour grazings, which has helped improve the solids. Improve labour efficiency. That's every, I've been always trying to um, improve efficiency on the farm, labour wise, uh, looking at every angle to uh, just make life easier. Um, I have upgraded the parlour uh, this year and it has made a big difference. It's saving me an hour in the morning and nearly an hour in the evening. Trying to target the right grass and to see the benefits of the, hitting the right type of grass covers for the cows and that's, that's where we seem to be getting our high milk solids from. My key learnings from the programme in the last number of years has been really that efficiency before scale. And in most farms, in the farms here that I'm dealing with, and in most farms across the Glanby area, it has to be efficiency before scale. We can get more out of our land, we can grow more grass, we can get more out of every cow. And that's what leads to direct more income for farms. We need to maximise our own resources. As I said, we own land, rather than thinking outside the box the whole time. The land we own, I think we need to maximise what we get out of that. The simple grass-based systems work well.